When does dissecting pigs become a topic of Thanksgiving dinner? When you live in Minnesota. I'm Hall of Fame announcer, writer, and broadcaster Jason Bryant, and this is Short Time Shots by the Matt Talk Podcast Network, a daily look at scores and more from the world of college wrestling. More about the pigs just a bit later. Wednesday tried to be pick on Division Three day as a couple Division II schools beat area rivals from the non-scholarship level of Division Three. Out near me, or at least soon to be, you know, near me. Bismarck is not close to me, but it's nearer to me than, than you are, most likely. At least in the soon-to-be frozen tundra of Bismarck, North Dakota, Mary beat Concordia of Moorhead, that's Moorhead, Minnesota, M-O-O-R-H-E-A-D, 33-12, while Wisconsin Parkside, a D2 school, beat Wisconsin Stevens Point, the Division Three school, 35 Five to six, Mary ranked 23rd in Division Two for the first time in a long time. Coach Adam Ajo doing a good job out there for the Marauders. Got a Marauder shirt sitting around here somewhere for Wrestling Shirt Today. Hashtag Wrestling Shirt Today. Uh, Mary set the tone early, earning bonus points in the first four bouts over the Cobbers, who fear the ear, fear the ear like ear of corn, corn cob, Concordia Cobbers. Anyway, Concordia ranked 21st in Division Three. Side note. Division II Limestone beat Division I Davidson on Tuesday night. Another side note, I mentioned one of the recent shows that my niece Ashley is a freshman at Concordia. Well, let me give you this little story. She was talking to her family during Thanksgiving about one of her bio labs and specifically her lab partner. No names here. But anyway, said she was dissecting a pig. Again, I refer back to you. It's Minnesota. They do farm stuff out here. Bio, farm, I don't know. Uh, She cut too much into the stomach, and the contents of said pig decided to squirt out onto her lab partner. And uh, since Ashley was doing most of the work uh, due to the perceived queasiness, it should should come as no surprise that said lab partner, uh, the poor guy, decided to puke right then and there. No worries, dude. The innards of a pig shooting across the room at you, I might have yacked too. Anyway, it wasn't all sunshine and Tony Ramos, get it, for Division II on Wednesday, though, as Scranton, a Division III school, and you guessed it, Scranton, that's Pennsylvania, folks, beat Division II East Stroudsburg 21-16. The Royals won the last three bounces of the duel to rally from a 16-12 deficit, and the match clincher came at heavyweight, where freshman William Oxley topped Hunter Marhan 7-4. In a Commonwealth matchup, meaning the Commonwealth of Virginia, we just mentioned the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the Commonwealth of Virginia, Southern Virginia, which is in Buena Vista, which we talked about on the BB Wrestling Beavercast for Buena Vista University in Storm Lake, Iowa. But anyway, Southern Virginia University of Buena Vista, Virginia, beat Hampton Sydney College 54-0 in a duel between two newish programs. Uh, Southern Virginia has had a team for over 15 years, but they finally became a school-sponsored varsity team, I believe, three years ago. This is the first year they're postseason eligible as the school has reclassified to Division III. Hampton Sydney still struggling with numbers, but first year head coach Chris Conkright will eventually get things working just outside of Farmville. Yes, Hampton Sydney College is located just outside of Farmville. That's Virginia, not the game on your phone. Anyway, the uh, Hampton City program, I believe, in its third year. Speaking of newer programs, picking up victories, Kansas Wesleyan beat Ottawa 26-24 as Coach Matt Oney and his squad won the school's first dual meet in history on Wednesday. Tanner O'Donnell's first period fall at 197 iced it for the Coyotes. Are they going to say Coyotes out there or are they going to say Coyotes? Anyway, Matt Oney, he is from, uh, yeah, he's from. uh... All right, going to go a little inside baseball there. You heard that little stutter there. This is a little bit of of an edit I had released. On the mat today with Kyle Klingman, and uh, they had Mike Kelly and Nick Moore on the show. And you can go to matttalkonline.com and check that show out. And you can subscribe by matttalkonline.com slash OTM iTunes. Well, I had put Cedar Rapids High School on the headline versus Cedar Falls High School. Now, KCNZ, the radio station where Kyle does the show, is in Cedar Falls. Mike Kelly and Nick Moore, of course, wrestled at Iowa, and Iowa City is closer to Cedar Rapids. So I made a, made a, a little bit of a bungle there, and I'm getting uh, – I got a text from Kyle Klingman and then a tweet, a DM from uh, Brett Hass, who was like, hey, Cedar Falls, Cedar Falls. So I'm in the middle of recording this, and uh, that's where the, the stutter came from. And uh, I, I paused this, went back, updated it, deleted all the social stuff, reposted it within – Four minutes. So, where was I? Matt Oney? Yeah. He coached high school at Punahou in Hawaii before taking the job 
uh, here in – actually, he was at Whalen Baptist before he was at uh, Kansas Wesleyan. So, anyway, a little backstory about uh, Matt Oney. Anyway, when Matt Oney was, uh, brought Punahou out to the clash, uh, one of their wrestlers actually wrecked a snowmobile. Yeah, let's put, let's put Hawaiian kids who have never seen snow before on a snowmobile. Anyway. That's uh, that's kind of the thing about Matt Oney. Getting back on topic here because I, got, I just get, you know, things happen. You have to fix them immediately. Reinhardt picked up four forfeits and two falls, including an 18-second fall from Garrett Colonel Klinger. I don't know if it's a colonel or not. Uh, it's, a, it's a mash reference, I believe. Or I'm, I might even be mixing up the names. I just, you know, Klinger. Anyway, he uh, he had a fall in 18 seconds at 165 pounds as Reinhardt beat Truett McConnell in an Appalachian Athletic Conference matchup. The NAIA moved from regions or groups to conferences for qualifying this season, and the AAC is sponsoring wrestling for the first time, much like many of the other NAIA conferences. In the junior college ranks, Iowa Lakes beat Nyack, that's North Iowa Area Community College, 34-15. The Lakers, yes, a very original nickname for Iowa Lakes, picked up falls from Anthony Fisher, Sango Boonmi Smith, and Brady Brott along the way. Other newsmakers from Wednesday, Lakeland University in Plymouth, Wisconsin, announced it would be starting a women's wrestling program as a varsity sport in 2018 and 19. That will bring the number of new women's college programs starting up next season to six. Nassau Community College was set to start next year, but they've already got two women wrestling this season, as featured by Newsday, a prominent Long Island newspaper, last week. Lakeland joins Tiffin and Shriner, which is in Texas, as three NCAA schools that have recently announced their starting programs next year. Why is that important? The NCAA is working towards emerging sports status, or at least women's wrestling, like Wrestle Like a Girl, for example, is pursuing uh, the emerging sports status with USA Wrestling, the NWCA, the uh, National Wrestling Hall of Fame, et al. So getting NCAA programs is key for that. Many of these women's programs are at NAIA schools. Other things to look out for, the pre-seeds for the 36th annual Cliff Keen Las Vegas Invitational. Yep, they're out. You can find them at Flow Wrestling or a link to that story in the Daily Wrestling newsletter that will hit the inbox of subscribers Thursday morning. Wait, what? You, you, don't, you don't know about this free daily newsletter? The, the previous day's top stories? Key scores and news from around the world? Well, guess what? You have to wonder no more. You can sign up for free at madtalkonline.com slash news. That will get you... Uh, just a bunch of stuff. I was a little lax on Tuesday. Had to take the kid to the ER, but uh, we're, we're, we're back. She's getting better. Anyway, that's why there was like two stories out on Tuesday. Anyway, the, uh, the Giving Tuesday promotion going on uh, right now is actually going on beyond Tuesday. In fact, it's running till December 6th, which again is my dad's birthday. In case you're wondering my dad's name, Grover. He's a junior. If my name was Grover Clinton Bryant III, I would not be doing this podcast. Or I'd be a Muppet. Uh, on Sesame Street. Uh, if you become a team member or patron of the Matt Talk Podcast Network, you'll be entered into a drawing to win a $150 prize pack courtesy of Cliff Fretwell and his crew at Compound Clothing and CMPTeamwear.com. New team members will be eligible to win another surprise, but every current patron, new and old, is eligible for the prize pack. You can sign up to be a patron and contribute to this network at matttalkonline.com slash contribute also like to thank Brian Solo, Denny Deal, Mark Williamson, Mike McCormick, and Jack Childs for their reach contributions to the network. And, uh, you know, this show, this, these little mini episodes and things of that nature, fan-supported, fan-supported, fan-supported. No Casper mattresses here. Uh, no HelloFresh. Uh, none of that stuff. Although I, I did make HelloFresh for dinner tonight. It was pretty good. Not gonna lie, they're, they're actually it's it's pretty cool. Like I, I like cooking my own food at home, but uh, sometimes it's just like, what are we gonna make tonight? Well, there's a there's a bag in there. Cook that anyway. You can contribute and not hear sponsor plugs like that. I'm you, you you're not gonna hear that. There's no gonna be no host read by contributing to the Matt Talk Podcast Network again. MattTalkOnline.com/slash/contribute again. Thank you for listening, but thank you for contributing to uh, this project. Also, in late breaking news, as I started to record this. Kyle Snyder was named the USOC's Male Olympic Athlete of the Year, and Bill Zadick is the USOC's Olympic Coach of the Year. USA, USA, USA. Details on the mat.com. Now, don't go dissecting them pigs without them safety goggles and a strong stomach. Fear the ear. That's all I got for today. Um, yeah, wear goggles. I'm Jason Bryant. This has been Short Time Shots for November 29th, 2017.
The Short Time Wrestling Podcast is proudly outfitted by Compound Clothing. Shirts, singlets, custom gear orders, everything you need. Call up Cliff and the crew at cmpteamwear.com. First time listening? Well, you can change that by going to matttalkonline.com slash get short time to subscribe on Apple Podcasts or listen on your favorite podcatcher at matttalkonline.com slash listen.